Hey guys, this is Rod Knock right here. I thought I'd give you guys a tour of my daily here in response to a question on Quora that I answered while I was on my lunch break at work and ended up getting a lot of views. The question was, why do people drive their old clunker car instead of buying a newer, more fuel-efficient vehicle? Well, in this video, you're going to find out. And here she is, her name's Big Bertha. As you can see, she's got a lot of tattoos going on. But, I paid 1200 bucks for this old girl three years ago with cash and got the keys and the title. Fully paid off. She's my old work car. She's driven daily, so she ain't the cleanest inside, but... I'm now at 217,000 miles. When I bought her, she was at 156,000 miles. So I'm doing about 20,000 20, miles a year. She's equipped with a Mother Nature exhaust system. I got my clean install right there. I mean, she's the old beater car, so nothing's clean about her. Full tank. This is after 30 miles, or close to 30 miles after a full tank, so she's pretty decent on fuel, actually, contrary to the popular belief of V8s. Oh, yeah. Take a look under this hood here. There's a power plant right here. This power plant is literally older than me. And listen to this. I would trust this car to go cross country, no problem. Uh, the only thing I've changed in here is the intake manual. Really? I placed a couple parts in the steering, but that's about it down here. It's crusty but trusty. custom from the last owner. More tattoos going on. I'll tell you this old girl, I mean she loves her tattoos. I mean, check that out. very concerned here. place a fuel filler neck because somebody tried to siphon fuel out of this thing in 2020 and then I had to replace pitman arm and idler arm I did all the work myself and that's pretty much it and came out to $1,600 total ownership over three years it's $40 a month for that time period just about that's just a rough estimate and she just keeps going and going I drive this thing across the country no problem well, yeah, I'll take you guys for a little spin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, though. While you're watching this, take a minute and comment down below. What do you drive every day? Has it been a good one? Has it been a bad one? Has it costed more in your house? Has it cost less in your house? Tell me about it. I want to know.
course, they're all the same anyways. <laughs> 